Hello everyone, this is Teacher Edwin once again. I am here to present to you my selected students from Grade 3, Grade 4, Grade 5, and Grade 6, discussing their chosen topic in math lesson. We all know that people's lives were affected through this pandemic, most especially the students. But we did not let this pandemic to stop us from learning and discovering new ideas. So, let us listen to our students presenting their chosen topic. Question number one. 14 plus 36 minus 21. Minus 21. 29. Plus 22. Answer. 51. Question number two. 530 minus 30. 500. Plus 100. 600. Minus 300. 300. Plus 50. Answer. 
times 2 equals 16, so we will write it 8 times 2 equals 16. So, here also we have, it will be this number because we have 8 and we have 16. So, the missing number is 2. So, we're going to write 2 here. We have also 2 the times 8 equals 16. Here, we write it. So, here we switch the two factors, 2 and 8, and it will... It gives us the same answer. And here we have here. Here we have also 16 divided by 2. Like that. And also uh, a fat family can be used in... Uh, subt uh, addition and subtraction, division and um, multiplication. Thank you everybody. Bye bye. Hello again. We, we will talk about fact family of addition and subtraction. We will write here addition and subtraction. Here we have the product is 10. We will write it in the corner and 8 here to here that we're going to uh, add them together. So here we have 8 plus 2 equals 10. Here we have 2 plus 8 equals 10. Here we we switch those the uh, those two numbers so it will be the same and the same product but uh, not the same not the same numbers here because we just switch them okay and here we have 10 we will do it by the best subtraction here we have 10 minus 8 equals 2 and 10 minus 8 so 10 minus 2 equals 2 okay. so here this is 10 minus 8 equals 2 but here we, 10 minus 2 equals 8 we just switch 10 minus 8 here 10 minus 8 the missing number is 2 so it will be 2 here 10 minus 2 is 8 because 10 minus 2 what's the missing number the missing number is 8 so the answer will be 8 or the product will be 8 And here we have a fact family can be used in, in addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Thank you everybody. Bye bye. Hi teachers. Hi friends. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about addition, properties, and subtraction rules. We're going to talk about addition properties. Commutative property of addition. The order in which number are added does not change the sum. For example, 3 plus 5, you can see here, 3 plus 5 equals 8. Then, 5 plus 3 is 8. The sum doesn't change, just the, the orders. The sum didn't change, just the orders. 2 plus 1, you can see here 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then 1 plus 2 equals 3. The, the sum didn't change, just the orders. Associative 
property of addition. The way in which numbers are grouped when added does not change in sum. For example, 4 plus 1 equals 5. You see here, 2 is the 4 and plus 1 is grouped. Now, 2 plus 5 equals 7. 4, you see the 4 is not grouped. It's not grouped with the others. Just the 1 and the 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 4 plus 3 equals 7. The group changed, but the sum didn't change. See? They're both the same. Here, they're the same. Identity, property of addition. The sum of any number in zero is the number. For example, seven plus zero equals seven. The sum, when it, you add zero in the plus, it will have, it will be the same number because n zero is nothing. It just like nothing. And the, the, just the order change, but the sum didn't change, especially because the zero, um, the seven is the same because, because the zero. Five, you can see here five plus zero equals five because the zero is nothing. Zero plus five equals five. And also because a zero is nothing. Second, we're gonna talk about sub subtraction rules. When you subtract second, we're gonna talk about sub subtraction rules. When you subtract Zero from any number, the result is the number. 50 minus zero equals 50. Even when the minus, it still will be the same number. Not only the plus can, 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 defeat. not even the plus is the, the same, the plus is the same as it. See, 50 plus zero equals 50. Even if it's minus, it's still the same as plus. 76 minus 0 equals 76. It's still the same because even when there's minus, still the 0 can, can make it become the same number. Now we're going to talk about when you subtract any number from your, itself, the result is 0. 8, like here. 18, it's, it's, it's minusing itself, and that's why it's zero, because, because they, they, it was taken away, then, it was taken away, then, and it, now it's zero, because it was taken away. 32 minus 32 equals zero, because the 32 is taken away, and, and it became zero. Because it minus itself, that's why it's zero. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, friends. Hi, Bye. Everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you what is addition and subtraction patterns. So now we're going to do patterns of 1,000 and 100. So each thousand, it goes to 78,000, 79,000, 80,000, 81,000, 82,000, and more. So this is by 1,000s, or I will say thousands. The next one, by each hundred, that means 200, 300, 400, 500, and more. So I'm going to say by hundreds. These are by hundreds. So write each number. 100 more than 10,000 is 10,100 because 100 more than. 
and Tenton Charm with 37 less than 15,777 is 5,777. Then more than 100, 300, 100,370 is 100,318, but there's 10 more than. Now subtract and add the missing number. 45,311 plus blank equals 46,311. So the answer is 1,000 because the thousands are different. And 89,420 minus blank equals 89,420. So the answer is 100 because it's different by 100. My name is Muhammad Thank Majid you everyone. Hassan. I'm grade 5. Today I'm going to explain the distributive property and the property. Property means is a rule in mathematics that can be applied to all numbers. And the distributive property is the property that you applied above. For example, 5 times 17. So here you're going to write 10. And here you're going to write 7. So 5 times 10 is 50. And 5 times 7 is 35. Here you're going to write 5 times 7 is 35. When you add 50 plus 35, uh, the answer is 85. So the final answer is 80. Let's go to the second question. 8 times 49. Here you're going to write 8, 40. And here you're going to write 9. So 8 times 40 is 320. Here you're going to write 8 times 40, 320. 320. And 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 9, 72. When you add 320 plus 72, the answer is 392. The final answer is 392. The third question, 9 times 55. Here you're going to write 50, and here you're going to write 5. 9 times 50 is 450. 9 times 50, 4, 3. And 9 times 5 is 45. 5, 45. When you add 450 plus uh, 45 the answer is 495 so the final answer is 495 and the fourth question is 7 plus uh, times times 30, 63 so let's complete 7 here you're gonna write and here you're gonna write 60 and here so 7 times 60 is 420. Here you're going to write 7 times 60 is 420. And 7 times 3 is 21. So here you're going to write 7 times 3, 21. So for 420 plus 21 is 441. So the final answer is 441. For the last question, we have 8 times 56. So 8 times, uh, here you're going to write 50 and here you're going to write 6. 8 times 50 is 400. 8 times 50 is 400. And 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 6 is 48. So, 400 plus 48 is 448. So, the final answer is 448. This was the lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Today, I will talk about my project. My project is about what is a ratio. A ratio are a simple division problem. They can also be written as a fraction. This one is example number one. We will go to example number two. A ratio is a comparison of two or more numbers that indicates their size in relation to each other. This is 
that exam scores. Now we will go to the question. Let's read the question. In a class, there are a 10 males and 15 females. What is the ratio of a males to females? Now I will talk about the answer. Let's go. We say that 10 males and 15 females. Now we will do a divide. 10 divided by 2 and 15 divided by 3 will be, the answer will be 2 over 3 or 2 to 3. Now we'll talk about the females to males. We know that females are the first part of the ratio and the males are the second part of a ratio. And now the answer will be 3 females into 2 males. And thank you. Hello, Bye. Hello, my name is Tim Salal Hart. I'm in grade 6. I'm going to do a ratio rate problem. Lambda can deliver 644 newspapers in 7 hours. How many newspapers can Lambda deliver in 9 hours? 744 newspapers. For 7 hours. Excel newspapers because we don't know the sum of how much newspaper are there in nine hours. So we're gonna swap seven x equal six hundred forty four multiplied by six hundred forty four multiplied by nine then multiply by four equal thirty six. 9 multiplied by 4, 36, plus multiplied by 3, 39. 9 multiplied by 6, 54, plus 3, 57. The answer will be 5,796. So, 7x equals 5,796. So, x will equal 5,796 over... Nine. Oh, sorry, over seven. So we're gonna divide how much newspapers by the hours. Five thousand seven hundred and ninety-six divided by seven. Fifty-seven divided by seven equals eight, so it will be fifty-six minus equals one. Take down the nine. Seven multiplied by two equals 14 minus equals 5 we bring down the 6 equals 56 so 7 multiplied by 8 equals 56 now x is going to equal 828 newspapers Thank you.